Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm at mile 324.6. I think it's the third, or no, it's the yeah, it's the third of uh, of May. Um, we left the dam back there where we camped at mile uh, 313.3, I believe it was. So we've walked. I don't know, 8, 9, 10 miles, 11 miles, and found another dam right there. I don't know which ones those are, and I don't even know if there's water behind this one. I'm not going to walk up there and find out because the trail, as you can see, goes that way. But, as soon as I can say it and get away with it, we passed two dams now. Are there any dam questions? Does anybody have any damn questions I can answer? Remember that on uh, Ash on Poon's vaca Vegas vacation? And Eddie says something like, where can I get some damn bait? Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. All right, so the bad news for the day is we did lose Chef and find Schmitka for a while. We woke up this morning and her ankle was just four times the normal size. And she walked on it for 15 miles like that. Um, got the wind, so I'll try to speak up. Uh, they're going to take a couple days off trail. They have family right here close, so she can go get it looked at, maybe an x-ray, if anything, heal up a little bit. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they'll uh, get back on trail with us. Fortunately, they live close here in San Diego, so they can skip sections to catch back up, and then they can just do those missed sections another time where they live so close. So wishing all the best for uh, Chef and the Schmecka. Um, she took a nasty fall, and that right ankle is just not good at all. I don't think it was broken, but as you may know, a sprain hurts a lot worse than a break, um, and she was in a lot of pain, so best wishes for them. But our, our goal today is at least 328. There's a pizza place, I guess. 333 would be a 20. My left foot's bugging me just a little bit. A lot of downhill, and when I walk downhill, I pound on it pretty hard. But uh, there's the dam. There's the sign. And here's me saying, we'll get you guys down trail. Let's go get some trail. Bye. Hey, everybody. All right, it's the uh, 3rd of, of May. I'm about mile 328. Just, just got off trail on this dirt road. So earlier today, JP said something about getting pizza for lunch at mile 328. And I took that for there would be a restaurant because we were kind of above... I want to say it was like Victorville by the dams. Well, that's all right. Not a cool restaurant. Then we got talking and a little ways back there, and he informed me that it wasn't a restaurant. It was Trail Magic at 328 off the road and, and a picnic area. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I was kind of hoping for a restaurant with fountain drinks, but yeah, that's cool too. Then I asked him. <laughs> back there a little way that says where, where did you get this information and he said it was written in the sand at one of the sand barges where we got water this morning <laughs> so I don't know but we just got off and there was a picnic area down there we could see and there was a bunch of people so maybe Maybe he's right. Maybe written in the sand means something. So, so far it's 15 miles for the day. For some reason my feet are just killing me. Yesterday they did so well. I don't know. It's it's one thing or another, seems like. But I'm going to turn this off because I've got limited disc space. I'll turn it back on when I get down there. Either it's going to be written in the sand means something or uh, something else. So... All right, I guess, I guess I shouldn't doubt. Written in the sand means something. <laughs> There's my Mountain Dew, he's just wearing it on his shirt. Thanks, brother, what's your name? Hee Haw 2012. Hee Haw 2012 fish tank. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Oh, couple. I'll, I'll eat the damn. I'll eat a. I'll eat a fried chicken with a bird on it right now. Thank you, sir. Well, I guess written in the sand means something.
and it was hee haw where are you from and so what do you do? I, this is my vlog. It's uh, going out to about oh, right about so 2,000 cops across Swiss the country. Swiss Army and I hiked the trail in 2012 together, and I just happened to be out here on vacation, so we came. We tried to pick oh. the hottest place <laughs> furthest from a town oh. that we could do some trail magic, and here we are. So. I want to give a huge, huge, huge 328-mile shout-out to this guy right here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Cheers. my brother. Yeah, you're welcome, my man. Appreciate it. And that's how we do it. Half of this trail magic. This is introduce yourself, brother. I'm Swiss Army from the class of 2012. So you did this six years ago. Yes. So you know exactly how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I can take a very good guess, and uh, I'm sure I felt worse, but I'm sure you'll probably feel a little worse too at some points. Oh. But, but there, it's all really great. Uh, it gets better from here. Either. So the Sierra is the best game. I am from Garden Grove down in Orange County, California. My buddy here is from Maine. He came all the way from Maine oh to do this. So. Well, uh, Fish Tank, class of 18, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Glad, glad, so glad you much. could stop by. Oh, we wouldn't, I wouldn't have missed it. <laughs> thank you. Hey, everybody. Um, make sure I'm dressed here. Hey, everyone. We are at mile 333.8, and... What that means is we finally crashed our first 20 mile day. We did 20.5 miles. My hair looks like crap, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. I'm all disheveled. You just did 20.5 Yeah, miles. we did 20.5 miles today. We did not get an early start because uh, one of our parties, as you guys know, Chef uh, injured herself. And there was a gentleman staying with us at Camp Michael that uh, uh, took a sports medicine class. He's going into med school. but. He had the experience to tape it. So long story short, we didn't get a huge start, and we took about an hour plus break on the trail magic from Hee Haw and Swiss Army. It? Swiss, Swiss Army. Army. They, we spent about an hour down there. So the fact that we got 20.5 miles, and we actually could have gone farther, but there's just no camping spots. In fact, this is all we could find. Now we got a great spot. It's going to be a great night. Cowboy camping, which means we get out of here quicker. The plan for tomorrow is... We got 8.7 miles to the famous Duffy McDonald's. It's 0.4 miles off trail. Um, so 8.7 miles will get us to the McDonald's. We're going to carb up, spend a little time there, have maybe a first, second, and a third breakfast, maybe one or two lunches, and then uh, move on from there. From there, we've got a pretty good climb, uh, a pretty good waterless section. Uh, there is rumor that there might be a cache at like 347, but we don't know that, and we cannot count on that. So, but it's been a great day. Um, uh, we did encounter a naked hiker today. We were uh, northbound, as you know. Uh, all of a sudden, there was a gentleman southbound that was wearing nothing but a guitar strapped to his back. Am I? You are telling the truth. Am I embellishing brother. anything? And socks. And socks. Oh yeah, he had socks on. He wasn't wearing shoes. He actually, they were gaiters. Yes. He said they were gaiters, and he had them electrical taped around the top and stuck to his skin so he was proud <laughs> and we'll just leave it at, ah, we'll just leave it at that yeah so this this gentleman was proud and uh, just we'll leave it at that but excited to have a good cowboy camp at night extremely excited we've crashed out 20.5 miles Actually, we did about 21.5 miles because the trail magic was about half a mile down and half a mile up off trail. So, But trail miles, 20.5. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, um, for liking and subscribing. We want to share this with everybody. On behalf of all of us, we want to say hi to our families and that we love you and that we miss you, but not so much that we're coming off, off trail. So Canada, here we come. Have a good night, guys.